what is going on YouTube? It is OG and today we are back. So today we are going to be covering the brand new sneak peeks that we were just given by Supercell. Super excited to be sharing it with you guys. A lot of exciting stuff coming up in this video. Um, so first off, shout out to Supercell for giving us the heads up and letting us do this video ahead of time. It's actually 5 a.m. for me, 4.56 on the dot. So I am a little tired, but you know, it's it's update season. So I'm very excited for that. I've really enjoyed the past few updates from Supercell that they've done really really good job and this one it has all my favorite things and we're gonna be covering a few of those today specifically pins in battle uh that's what i'm looking forward to the most i love i'm from na i love my bm right so pins in battle is definitely gonna be one of my favorites but we'll get there first off though we are gonna start with the crow remodel and white crow remodel so for those of you who don't know crow is very his kits this kid's fine but his look is very outdated so he was one of the original 16 brawlers and i don't think he's ever really gotten any changes to his looks at all um so they're gonna be completely remodeling crow and he looks so good guys um it is just he deserves it he's a legendary he deserves to be like one of the flyest guys in the game also the white crow skin it honestly became a meme after a while just because he has so many flashy skins he's got like the gold mecha the black mecha and then fire or phoenix crow and blue blue mecha crow too um but the white crow it was just kind of there and it was so plain and like nobody he looked like a pigeon with it um so nobody really touched it for like pretty much forever since like a different crow skin came out so they're gonna be redoing that one too and they both look so good i'm definitely gonna be using the white crow skin uh when i do rarely play crow in brawl ball i bring them out sometimes but um definitely really hyped for those crow remodels all right next up we're gonna be covering the pins in battles so like i said this is definitely my favorite part of the update it sounds really miniature but it's just something um that i was really hoping they would do ever since they introduced pins into the games and like we knew it was coming i didn't know it was coming this fast so i'm really excited for it i've been collecting all my pins and a lot of people think they're stupid it's like 50 gems kind of a waste but i really really enjoy them and i don't always get the best luck with them honestly i just i really want supercell to make it like you can just buy as many as you want I'll do like a $500 like pin opening, I swear. Um, <laughs> but I got a few good ones that I'm excited to show off in battle and just taunt the enemy team with. So it is like a fun little thing, but I'm definitely like really excited. You can see in the video, it looks really clean how they're doing it. It won't really interfere with your gameplay at all. You just gotta like put it off to the side and you know, you can't do it all the time, but when it's appropriate, you can do it and uh, just enjoy the game a little more with that little quality of life change. All right, guys, next up, we are going to be covering the Super City environment. So I'm really stoked for this. Um, specifically, the trees or grass, whatever you want to call it now. They look so good. And just the whole theme, I'm really excited for it. Um, I was a big fan of monster movies growing up when I was a kid. So I like Godzilla, all that stuff. Um, so pretty hyped about this whole theme for the update and all the skins and just everything that they're releasing. It looks really, really good, especially this environment. I can't get enough of it. Um, so I'm definitely really eager to just get out there and get playing in this environment and just test out all the new stuff um, Like the new player versus everyone mode, which usually I'm not too fond of and unfortunately We don't get to cover that in today's video. Hopefully in the next few days. We will though. I'm sure we will um, but I'm definitely gonna be trying that one out as well, too and Just cannot wait. It looks so good in heist, too uh, I think I'm most excited for that one, but definitely excited for this new environment Okay, next up we have balance changes. This is where uh, my pro expertise, or that I like to think I have at least, can really come into play and I can drop some knowledge for you guys. So first off, we got Gale. Um, very underwhelming, I'd say. I have a ton of fun playing Gale and when I first saw him, I thought it would be a meme just because of his shot, but he's actually a ton of fun and he can do some really cool plays, mainly with his gadget and his knockback. So uh, Gale's main attack now fires six smaller projectiles for improved damage dealing consistently. Um, so I'm pretty sure the damage stays relatively the same on his main attack, but it is gonna be smaller projectiles. Um, so you can get more consistent shots. Sometimes it was kind of hard to hit like uh, the 1500, so I think it will be easier to do that now. I think that's kind of what they're going for. And next up, this sounds really small, but I think it's going to be really impactful. So Gil no longer knocks himself back upon activating super. Um, it kind of seemed weird because I did like the knockback, but it just 
didn't really go too well because he wanted to get close to them when they were stunned with his first star power or pushed up against somewhere and you'd get pushed back and it just it wouldn't be too effective so you'd have to stun them for your teammates maybe um but this way it kind of enables him more to get like that extra damage when they are stunned with that first star power and then finally the super enemy pushback distance has been increased um i don't think that one was really needed it already like covers half the map but personally i like gale and i'm gonna be playing a lot of gale upcoming competitions i think so um definitely excited for any gale buffs next up we have nani um okay so nani increased health 2400 to 2600 perfect i've been saying nani needs more extra health it goes really well with her teleport um obviously you don't want her to be too tanky because then it would just be broken but 2600 i'll take it and then nani's main attack projectile now travel extra distance if they miss their target for improved damage dealing consistency i have no idea how that's gonna play and play out um I don't want to give too much opinion on it. it like I said it's 5 a.m. I'm pretty tired so I don't know if I'm thinking straight but it doesn't <laughs> I have to see it first unfortunately it's on the gameplay but it sounds like a range buff kind of uh, so I think that could be really good too maybe we could see more Nani and like well, it's like bounty now Dynamite is getting a small buff as well the fidget spinner now also increases movement speed um, that's kind of cool. It kind of changes the dynamic of it. Uh, before it was kind of useless. It never really made sense. So maybe you have to get away from someone who can use fidget spinner. I think I still think they should just like rework that entire gadget. To be honest, it's it's kind of a mess. Um, but they're trying to make it work. I think this is the third or fourth change to fidget spinner already. So we'll see how this one goes. <sighs> so happy with this next one. Gene decreased health from thirty six hundred to thirty four hundred. Oh. Bobby's gonna need a new brawler to play. No, I don't like Gene's still gonna be pretty strong, but I'm glad that they're like not just leaving Gene alone and it's long overdue. Gene's been broken for like the past year. Uh so thank you. Any Gene nerf I will gladly take. We got a Jackie nerf coming up next. Decrease Decreased health from 5200 to 5000. Decreased pneumatic booster speed from 30% to 20%. Increased pneumatic booster charges from 2 to 3. I really, really like that. Um, I'm not a fan of the brawlers having two gadgets, except for the knockbacks, just because the knockbacks are so impactful. So I think that giving Jackie back three charges and just making the speed slower is definitely the right call. That way you can still make some plays and she kind of feels useless a lot of the time when uh, you don't have any gadgets. And two is just like being really like, you gotta be really sparing with it. So I think that's actually a really solid change from the dev team and props to them for doing that one on Jackie. Next up we got Sprout. So overgrowth now takes five seconds to charge, but the increased explosion radius is always applied. Um, and then supercharging rate decreased from four to five hits. I, I don't know. I feel like I, I'm at the point. I'm so tired of seeing sprouts on ladder. I just want to see it gutted, to be honest. But it's something, and it, it'll probably affect it somewhat. So maybe we can see a few less sprouts. But I think sprouts still gonna be like a top five brawler for sure. And then finally, Mr. P is getting a complete rework on his star power, Tin Can. Um, it's been replaced with a new star power, star power called Revolving Door. And Revolving Door, the Roboporter spawned three seconds faster after being defeated. I really dislike this one. Um, I honestly like Mr. P's mechanics and just his theme as a brawler and stuff, but I wish they would just give him a new super and like new star powers obviously and new gadget uh, his whole like kit's based around his super i guess but it's just like so spammy and you don't control it and it just like really really uh i don't know it just it's so easy and it's such a get out of jail free card for a lot of players i feel like so it's just gonna make him more spammier and i don't know i guess in siege we could see it and um, maybe like maps like triple dribble just kind of the range is still going to be really useful and I think it'll still be the favorite ones um, it's because you can play Mr. P literally everywhere right now um, but that is going to be very annoying and I think it'll be a lot more annoying than can ever was just because it'll be like more up in your face with like the little penguins 
so we'll probably be seeing in like nuts and bolts like some assembly uh triple dribble like i said other like congested maps like that with a lot of walls that you can get good value off of all right guys that is gonna be it for today's video um so i think this is my first time actually like covering sneak peeks i think i might have done it one other time but i've been in the program and i just never like thought it was my kind of content but i want to like branch out and just i'm trying to like see what works and stuff for my channel right now i'm trying to get it going again um so really appreciate your support guys and hopefully you enjoyed the video and the sneak peeks and i will be back tomorrow tomorrow you guys have my word tomorrow hopefully hopefully <laughs> but uh yeah that is gonna be it for today and i'll see you all tomorrow peace